Watch you guys, got another video here for you. In this one, we're going to be looking at a piece of software called Acviz Sketch. Now, I think that's how you pronounce it, but this is the website, and uh, they do many different types of tools. Now, if you're into this type of stuff, then check these guys out. They've got some awesome tools that do loads of different uh, types of jobs that you're trying to do with your images. Now, if if you're into uh, Photoshop, they also do plugins. And they also do standalone uh, installation uh, programs as well. And we're going to be taking a look at the Sketch one here. Now I'm no expert with this uh, software. I've only just started to have a little look at it. But basically it can change all your images into sketches. Now if you're not really good at Photoshop, this program does take a lot of the hard work out of it for you. And makes it much more easier uh, to do. So let's take a look at our program here. I'm going to fire this up. Now you can use this as a free trial and uh, you can hit the uh, try it here once you've installed it. Now I'm going to be looking at the Home Deluxe version here. I'm going to try this. Now this is the actual program that you've got once you open it. All you need to do is put in your project that you want to be uh, working on or your image and you can hit this button here open an image and we're going to be taking a look at this uh, girl here and you can see when you start moving this box around it gives you an idea of what the image is going to look like once you get it to sketch. Now there's loads of buttons up the top here as you can see let me just go through some of these buttons you've got your upload image, save an image, print, share and this is your batch processing import presets, export presets, show and hide lines and also load grid uh, guiding lines and also we have here save guiding lines and then undo and redo and down the left hand panel here we have quick preview, uh, stroke detection, eraser, hand and zoom. Now we also have up the top right hand corner here express advanced and we have the run button which is going to create our image. There's some information about the program and the help button here and we have some preferences that you can change as well. Now this is where all the magic happens, this is where you can make changes to uh, your image. Now you can see here we have watercolour and this will add in watercolour as well and also charcoal and you can see it that will start to change the amount that you do here. You can see the numbers changing as I drag the sliders. You can type the number in yourself if you wish. Coloration, again self-explanatory. This will add a slight bit of color uh, to the image, like so. And you can drag this around to check it in different locations to make sure you're getting exactly how you want it. So let me just take that off a second and, and got also smudge in here. Now here is your strokes, original colors. You can see here, you can mess around with the uh, settings here and pull this about. You've got edges and this is going to do your edges, the sensitivity. You can see here we can do this here and edge width as you can see. Now I'm not going to be trying to master this uh, program in one sitting here but I'm just showing you exactly what you can do and you can preserve the edges here. Now also you've got the pencil color in case you wanted to change the pencil color you would just hit this here and you can just change the color on the swatch here and you also have the stroke fitness here. Maximum length, mid-tone sensitivity, as you can see here this will change the mid-tones and you also have the mid-tones hatching and you can change this as well. As you can see here, I'm just going to put that back to where it was. Now also on this drop-down menu here we have a load of other presets that you can change. So you can do rough sketch, clear lines, as you can see here, we'll just quickly change some of these and you can see it changes it into pastel. 
uh, as you can see you can make some changes here and you can examine it to what you want to do here if you want to put it back you can put it back but there's loads of here loads here to choose from dark pencil loads and loads to choose and you what you would do is you'd select what you want to achieve here say dark pencil or pastel or whatever it is you want to do crown and then you would mess around with the settings here uh, to get it exactly how you want it so let's go back here to this uh, this one here default now you've also got your background and this allows you to change your background and uh, sketch and photo uh, sketch and blur and so on for the background So if you did this, you can do grayscale. Let me just do the sketch and blur. This will open up this area here. And again, you've got some other drop downs here that you can play with. And you've got your radius for your Gaussian blur. Pretty feature packed, this program. But as you can see here, you can add in text and also the canvas. This is going to allow you to change the, the light area here, like so by just moving this cross around and you can put it down the bottom here to on the darker side or the lighter side depending on what uh, effect you're looking for as you can see here it's the, the direction of light looks pretty awesome and you got the brightness here and the embossing uh, which will change as you can see here so that's pretty much uh, the program features and again once you've set this up exactly how you want you can do the before and the after and this will then build your image now once it's built your image you could then go through and take a look at what it's achieved again by clicking on these it gives you some other examples lighter versions and darker versions and if you're not happy you can go back to the before and it will make changes and if you wanted to change anything at this stage you could still make changes hit the run and it will change it back and start doing a pastel as you can see here and give you some ideas down the bottom some lighter versions and darker versions and different versions here you can select which one you like and once you've selected the one you like if you want to save it you can then come up to the top here where it says save save image as click on this and we can save this to our desktop our pictures so let's just send that save that to our don't want to replace that so let me just do uh, a two here and save And as you can see, if we go back to our pictures here now, we have two types here. As you can see, we have our watercolor or pastel, just like so. And obviously, I've not made no changes to this. So you would obviously um, make changes to the image before you uh, did that. I wouldn't just. Uh, do it exactly how I did there you would make some changes to exactly how you want it before you did a save so you can see I've not done any work on it whatsoever and uh, I would actually do some more work on that before so you could do like coloration you could do a little bit of color if you wanted to just something like that and then you could then save And again you can just make this number three and you can just do what you want to do to get it how you want it there's many different features and I do like that slightly coloration on it very nice very easy to do as you can see here very very easy to do and uh, does a great job and it takes a lot of the hard work out of it for you so if you're not very uh, good with Photoshop or anything like that then this program is a definite must it really does make life a lot easier and uh, that's basically uh, 
at Viz Sketch. So I hope you enjoyed this one. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, then hit the like button. Also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos. Also, if you've got any video requests or problems with your computers, you can head over to the forums. And also, if you haven't joined my Facebook fan page, you can head over there and give us a little like up over there. Anyway, have a great day, and I shall see you again in the next video. Bye for now.